there, Alex here. This is the Casio Phone K300. I've had them for about two months now, and since I recently got a slightly more powerful deck, I thought I might as well do a quick review of these. So in terms of packaging and accessories, it comes in a pretty simple box with 4 pairs of full foams and 4 pairs of donut foams. It's using MX500 shells, so the fit is pretty decent for me. And the cable is the same as the one on the K64S. It's simple, but feels pretty nice and is easy to work with. When it comes to sand, these have an impedance of 300 ohms, so they do need a bit more power. You could get decent volume out of them with a dongle, but it wouldn't sound as good. I think that it sounds okay with the LG V50 with its ESS quad deck, but it was with the JCLE JM10 that I felt like it really came alive. These have a warm, neutral tuning, more on the warmer side of things. Sub bass isn't the most extended like most earbuds, and it is more focused in the mid bass region. It gives the lower mids a nice amount of body, so darker instruments and male vocals have a nice weight to them. With a powerful enough source, bass is still relatively tight, so I don't find it too overbearing. Mids have a nice and forward presence in the mix, and there is just enough elevation in the upper mids for female vocals to stand out without being shouty at all. There is a nice weight in this region as well, which gives female vocals a nice fullness to them. Treble is a bit rolled off, and is on the more relaxed side of things. Detail retrieval is not mind-blowing, but still decent. Same goes for soundstage, separation, timbre, and whatnot. Another popular option for high impedance earbuds would be the White Lotus S300, and it's basically an even warmer and thicker sounding option with more bass, so female vocals and brighter instruments do take a step back compared to the K300. Personally, I find it too warm sounding for my taste, so even though it is noticeably cheaper, I still prefer the K300. Compared to another one of my favourite budget earbuds, the K64S, treble is not quite as extended, but the K300 has a bit more bass, slightly thicker note weight in the mids, and soundstage seems a bit better too. That said, I do like the tuning of the K64S a bit more since I prefer something less warm sounding. It is also more than half the price of the K300, and it is easier to drive. Overall, even though it's not quite as good value for money compared to the K64S, I think that the K300 is still decent value for money, especially if you're looking for something a bit on the warmer side and you already have a powerful enough source. Thanks for watching this video and see you guys on the next one.